We've known for decades that our climate is changing and the planet's temperature is rising. This is partly because of the greenhouse effect and a consequence of our emissions. And the largest contributors in the US are emissions from things we rely on every day. But greenhouse gases also keep our planet inhabitable. So how does the greenhouse effect both help and harm our planet? And how did it get so off balance? The temperature on Earth is regulated because of our atmosphere, the jacket of gases that surrounds the planet like a greenhouse. It allows some of the sun's energy to pass through to the Earth's surface, where it's absorbed and heats the planet. When that energy radiates back up into the atmosphere, 90% is absorbed by gases and continues warming the Earth. This is the greenhouse effect, and it's what allows life to thrive here. But the increase in greenhouse gas emissions from human activity has led to extra trapped heat and higher global temperatures, and what we now call global warming. So the same effect that keeps our planet alive is also what's damaging it. If we look back, for most of the last 800,000 years, the concentration of greenhouse gases in Earth's atmosphere was about 200 to 280 parts per million. But over the last century, we've been emitting more and more. In 2019, humans were pumping out 36.7 billion tons of CO2. That's about 50% more than in the year 2000. And air temperatures have gone up about two degrees in the last century which might not seem like much, but a few degrees makes a huge difference in our climate. So how exactly do humans contribute to this? We all leave a carbon footprint by participating in systems that release carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. That means things like using gas-powered vehicles, raising livestock, agriculture and deforestation, as well as waste and recycling pollution, all contribute to greenhouse gas emissions. And the burning of coal, oil, and natural gas to produce electricity and heat accounts for one quarter of worldwide human-driven emissions. In the past, economic progress has come with an environmental cost, which means if the world continues with business as usual, emissions will keep rising. So what can we do? To actually see change, greenhouse gas emissions need to be reduced on a global scale. If things don't change, scientists predict that sea levels will rise another one to eight feet by the year 2100. And corn and wheat production could be affected as soon as 2030. No one person and no one country can solve this alone. But by prioritizing climate policies and by finding renewable energy alternatives and ways to remove greenhouse gases already in the atmosphere, we can make a difference in stopping climate change. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.